today's shave, we're using Nuevia Nira. Coming right up. Hello and welcome to the Lather Hog channel, where we talk about all things wet shaving. I'm your host, John, and today I'm bringing you a shave with Panacrema Nuevia Nira. After my awesome experience with Nuevia Verde, I actually wound up picking up both Nira and Rosa, which is red, um, from the Panacrema Nuevia line. That's how much I really enjoyed that soap. Also, a special shout out to The Razor Company, where I picked up all three tubs at a great price. The soaps were all packaged very safely and arrived very quickly. So thank you to Jason over at Razor Company. All right, so let's move on to what gear we're gonna to use today. First up with the razor, I'm gonna use the Tatara Masamune Dark, and this is loaded with a Gillette Silver Blue Blade. Now I'm really curious today about how this Tatara Masamune is gonna do with about three and a half days worth of beard growth. It's more than my usual, and given that this is a very comfortable, very smooth razor, not known for you know being overly harsh or a quote unquote aggressive, but I wanna see how it does with more hair than normal. Next up for my brush is one that I haven't used on camera yet, and that's from Bristol Brushworks. This one is a chubby style handle uh, made from a jade, a faux jade type resin. And I've been looking for a jade you know, style handle to add to my den. This one popped up for sale. I just haven't quite found the right knot for this. I had silver tip in there. I don't really like silver tip badgers a whole lot. So instead I wound up picking up a 20 millimeter Hair Force One Knot from Strike Gold Shave. Now Strike Gold Shave, you can pick up these kind of super dense knots um, either as is or you can add on a little bit more for gel service. Uh, I mentioned I am not the biggest fan of gel, like a little bit's okay, but this one we just went for a straightforward and you can even see uh, where I've been soaking it, it clumps up a little bit. So I'm really curious how this goes. It's just, it's a you know really, really dense knot. Actually this handle was bored for a 30 millimeter knot and it just, I, it, it kind of just filled it right up. So first use with this today. Now given that the Panacrema Nuevia is a crope, quite soft, we're gonna use a shave bowl today. This BD is from Lancaster Razor Works. You can see the amount of soap I've put in there. Finally for the post shave, we're gonna go with Fine Fresh Vetiver. It's kind of a rainy day today and I'm kind of just in the mood for this wonderful scent. There's some citrus in here. It's not quite the aquatic scent that Nira is, but the citrus in fresh vetiver, I think will make it close enough. And really, it's just what I'm in the mood for. So we're gonna go with that. So I'll do the bowl lathering off camera and then we'll come back for the shave. All right, so here we have the lather in this gigantic knot, kind of the look of the bowl afterwards. So while I apply the lather, let me put up the official scent notes on Nira. Now this isn't my first time using it. Actually the first ever Nuevia soap I used was a sample of Nira from a friend. And that's what kind of got me down this rabbit hole. And to my nose, this is a aquatic scent. It's got that kind of marine, oceanic vibe. It's also got some greenness there too. And I would say some citrus notes as well. So it's really pleasant. I really like it. It kind of reminds me a little bit of um, Aqua de Gio, as well as the, that greenness, a little bit of uh, Green Irish Tweed by Creed. This scent can really be used all year round, but I do think it kind of particularly shines in the spring, summer, uh, those warmer months. I would definitely say this is a very safe scent I think if you're looking to try this line, this is not a bad entry point. And it leans on more, a more modern cologne. I know some of the other scents, uh, I haven't used Rasa or Red yet. That leans more, a little bit more old school. But Nira definitely is more of a, kind of a modern cologne vibe. All right, let me get a little closer, you can see the beard growth. Also those who wear glasses, you can see the bane of our existence, lathering with glasses on. I am too blind to lather or shave without glasses, so it's not too hard just to kind of give it a wipe off. All right, so here we go with the Tatara Masabune. It has Gillette Silver Blue Blade. 
I have no idea on what use. Probably like the fourth use. I know I've used it for a few shaves. And as far as kind of dismantling razors after use, because I do kind of just change it up throughout the week, I thoroughly dry it off, but I don't disassemble it. I just leave the blade right in there. As I mentioned before, the uh, Masamune has the reputation of being a fairly mild razor. It's got negative blade exposure, which I in the past have kind of um, equated with smoothness. I don't prefer too much blade feel. I don't mind it some, but I feel like some folks who really want quote unquote aggressive razors just want more blade feel. And in addition to more blade feel, I think audio feedback, and rather a lot of it, is probably what adds to the experience. I don't know if it's like a validation of your man card to use, <laughs> to use super aggressive razor. But it really just comes down to personal preference. Also knowing kind of what your face needs, what your, you know, your type of hair, how often you shave, all those are factors with what razors you choose. First pass. I think this could definitely knock down more hair than I thought it would. Nice. All right, on to the second pass. I will say that doing a bowl lather on the inaugural use of this knot isn't going to give me the full experience. So even though it's first impressions, um, I'll definitely give this hair force one knot kind of a better testing by doing you know proper face lather all the way. But just from applying the bowl lather, it's it's a very, very soft pillowy knot, but it's got the backbone needed for that face lather and just my preference for. And as I suspected, I don't need the gel or extra, extra gel to really enjoy this knot. The other good thing about the Hair Force One Knot that was curious, um, I think I've heard multiple people who really enjoyed it. Uh, hey Gerard Shaves, So Sharp David, they had really good things to say. I've had good experience. This is with uh, Frank from Strike Shave. And he has these knots, you know, uh, in a variety of sizes, you know, 24, 26, 28 and 30 millimeter, I think. And I think they're all competitively priced. All right, here we go for the against the grain pass. I have to say that it's pretty crazy that we are in September now, at the time of this recording. The summer has come and gone. Here in New England, we'll still get probably another week of like hot weather, hot and humid sometimes, upper 80s, maybe even 90s, before the end of the month. That's what's normal, at least. What that means for me is just I don't, um, I don't remove our air conditioning units from the windows until that kind of like that last. Um, they call it an Indian summer here, or they that last 
you know, heat spell. Once that happens, which might be like beginning of October, that's when I'll finally take the air conditioner units out. Alright, this is looking good. I mean, honestly, it's not anything out of the ordinary. Um, I'm still going to do this touch-up pass here, but yeah, I would say the Masamune had no problem with the additional beard growth. I mean, it probably helps. I don't have particularly coarse beard hair or anything like that. All right, that was good. All right, so really excellent shave. I am just loving this Panna Crema Nuevia line. To finish off with the scent, I mentioned some things that it did kind of smell like, but I'm in the mood for fine fresh vetiver. This one's a dupe, by the way, of Tom Ford Grey Vetiver Eau de Toilette. It's one of those funny things where the Eau de Toilette, the lighter concentration, is a, quite a different scent from the Eau de Parfum, which is a stronger concentration. This one's much fresher, like given the name Fresh Vetiver. It's a much fresher scent. It's got that citrus, as I mentioned at the top of the video, versus the, um, the Eau de Parfum. It's a little richer and kind of more appropriate for cooler weather. Yeah, I really, I really enjoy this scent. And the Vetiver in it really does remind me of kind of gray days, rainy days, which it totally is outside the window right now. Yeah, so just to recap, uh, Nuevia Nera, a really nice aquatic scent, a great entry um, to trying this line if you're interested. One thing I wanted to mention uh, that I learned from uh, my last Nuevia video is Todd from Take Care Van let me know that uh, basically Panoprema went to French perfumers to help develop these scents. So they're very smooth, they're very well blended, it's not blaringly loud. It sits at just about a uh, four or five out of 10. Um, very enjoyable, all the ones I've used so far at least. And I had a few viewers ask, is it worth the money? And I know it's more, it's about $42 USD. I would say so. I greatly enjoy it. I enjoy the sense, I enjoy the performance, and when it hits on those two things, uh, as well as like a heavy glass jar, nice presentation. Um, I think folks who are really into shaving, who care about their you know grooming practices, I don't think they're gonna be disappointed. And a quick recap for the brush. This was the Hair Force One Knot in a beautiful Bristol Brushworks brush. You can see here, again, great inaugural use. You'll see this guy again as um, I definitely want to test it with a face lather. As we're using a few new things in the den for me today, let me know in the comments below any new gear, soaps, razors, brushes, what have you, uh, that you've recently picked up and really enjoying. Let me know in the comments below. With that being said, that brings us to the end of today's video. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me in today's shave. I want to thank you for your support. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Take care.